Hey, hey, so let me bring the camera up here. Today we are going to learn how to uh, upload a piece onto OpenSea. And in order to uh, do that, you'll need to set up a MetaMask wallet or any wallet. I use MetaMask. Uh, it's easily compatible across multiple platforms. Um, and you'll uh, do that by going to the far right hand corner once you come onto the um, profile whether you want to collect pieces or create one you'll have to um, have a wallet in order to do so so once you have that set up uh, you'll go over to create and just so you know I, I have a video um, and a podcast episode where I'm setting up my MetaMask wallet live and I even had to backtrack and come up with a uh, have a create a Coinbase account because my state doesn't allow um, a MetaMask to be created, um, which you'll find <laughs> or not, uh, depending on what state you're in. It's a common thing. So I can tell you right off the rip, Texas, New York, and Illinois does not uh, allow that. So then you have to go through the Coinbase Avenue to do it. So then uh, once you have that set up, um, you'll go to create. Uh, OpenSea does require you to have a collection already set up. Um, so you'll create a collection and I create it. So how I do it is I have one collection. That way I give people a link who are interested in my work, um, either a link to the exact item or if they want to check out multiple items, I give them the whole collection. Boom, there you go. And it's all in one hub. I don't have to think about where it is because I already know. But again, I only have uh under 10 pieces up right now so what you're going to see me upload right now over here uh because once you have the collection and i'm sorry i couldn't go through it verbatim but once you um and when i'm what i mean by that is like i can't show you setting up a create uh setting up a collection and um me clicking at, at an item which brought us to this screen here because in between that um that when i once i do that it asked me to sign into my MetaMask wallet and Loom signs me out of that um, for some reason. So in order to keep this video going, I have to already be on this screen and signed into my MetaMask wallet. I think it's a security thing, which is cool. So MetaMask is super secure. If you don't know, now you know, you'll see. Um, so uh, you'll want to have your image ready to go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to be using a GIF, uh, and if you want to know how to turn a piece into a, a physical piece, into a digital piece, I have a video on that. I'm going to be putting up a new one, but uh, also if you want to know how to um, turn a digital piece into an animation, into a GIF, uh, because they're catchier, especially if you're like shilling your artwork uh, on, on Twitter, online. Um, you'll want to have that. So I'm clicking my GIF that I already have uploaded here. This piece is called Mommy's Money Flakes um, and it is a series of 10 of 10. So a total of 100. Uh, so you'll see me put up set two. One to the name and then two of 10. Okay, and it, I, I imagine this is going to get a little confusing because people are going to be like, wait, 2 of 10, right? But is it 10 of the 100? Of the, the, this is how I had to do <laughs> This is how I chose to do it, y'all, <laughs> for those that uh, may come to collect one. <laughs> Uh, okay, so in the external link, uh, this is a link that will be attached to uh, the item. Uh, what I've done is attached uh, my highlights for my Instagram stories because that's where I go in depth into the meaning uh, behind the piece and my pieces of work. So uh, I just copy and pasted that link. I advise that you do something, whether it's to a blog post or a Google doc or PDF or something or video, whatever, let it be um, a bridge to getting to know you, uh, whatever that looks like for you and your work. Let it be to something like that. Um, now to the description, uh, 
Oof. Uh, let me go onto my OpenSea and put what description I put for the last one. And go to my Instagram. Mm -mm -mm. Bear with me. Okay, we're here. <laughs> and we're going to go to all of the works. Okay, because work harder, not smarter. I'm not going to come up with a whole nother one. <laughs> They're all the same. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, this piece, and I'll tell you why I put what I put uh, for the description and how it can help you, because the point of the description is that you want to be as transparent as possible. Like, you don't want to leave. It's the contract on top of the contract. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so the marketplace, the open C marketplace itself is a smart contract, right? A smart contract is embedded into every NFT uh, you sell, but I like to see uh, the description as uh, an extra layer, right? Describing what it is they're giving, uh, they're they're getting and what it is I'm giving so that there's nothing uh, left um, to be confused about. And there are going to be some things that comes with trial and error that you might miss, um, but then you just build on top of it uh, for every description after you learn that lesson, you know what I'm saying, uh, into the next one, right? You uh, apply that. So hold on, I'm just going to type it out and then I'll explain each sentence. And I do like to keep it short and sweet uh, because I do keep, I do put the meaning of my pieces um, again in that link. Uh, but this is also a good place for you to uh, tell the story behind the piece of work. Tell your story. Um, yeah, like give them more. <laughs> What is it about? Anybody that will be coming to this piece, uh, how I have it set up, they already know what it's about. Um, it's the, how I have um, the attention that will be coming to this piece, the traffic, I should say, that will be coming to check out this piece, they already you know what it's about. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> So it says, uh, this piece comes with a free sticker, which it does, uh, to collect the, see what I'm saying? Mistakes, okay. <laughs> uh, this piece comes with a free sticker. To collect the sticker, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. OpenSea does not allow information outside of the wallet to be, ooh, I put collection on the last one. Collected, okay. Uh, this piece is a set of 10. This, so I'll put this is oh wait, blah, 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 blah. put it over here. A total of 100. This is I'll put one of the 10 from the second set. I know it's confusing. That'd be okay. Ultimately, just know that it's a hundred. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get it across that it's a hundred that they're getting. Uh, and I'll tell you in a bit why I did it like this. Uh, this is one of the ten from the second set. Okay. Uh, thank you for liking my art. I'm glad it resonated with you. Boom. Okay. Uh, so properties, levels, stats, all that jazzery. That's gonna help you over here. Where is it? <laughs> over here uh, in the browse section. So that's going to be basically whatever you apply in those areas. Um, it's going to allow people to be able to filter uh, themselves to work like yours with those specific properties, levels, and stats. Okay. Um, so yeah, think of it as, you know, you're shopping at Target and you don't just want to look at all the clothes you want to look at a jacket and not just jackets but a black jacket right so that's it again I don't I'm not filling any of that out because I 
my whole strategy, which I share in all of my videos uh, and, uh, and more videos to come even more so uh, as time goes on and I continue this NFT fine art journey, um, is that I, I don't have to worry about that because um, my goal isn't for people to come onto OpenSea and browse and find my piece. Like, I just think that watch the other videos and find out why, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, people will, are, they just, they're, they're going to be coming on to open C for this specific piece. Um, if they're interested in the piece, not a brow situation. So I don't worry about that. Um, unlockable content. That is say, if I wanted to take this piece and whoever purchases the piece can then unlock some content that I would then put into the unlockable content section. Um, and then when they got it and they opened it, let's just say a bunch of money fell out the top of the box or flew out the top of the box or whatever I wanted to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it could be a completely different piece. It could be me saying, hey, on my video. I don't know, <laughs> but it's just a little extra surprise. And that's something that you will put in the description, you know, like it has unlockable content. Okay, so boom. Now this is an extra bonus thing here. Uh, and that is that typically you cannot um, put up a supply, uh, the number of copies that you, that you can mint. Typically it can only be one, but there is an addendum damn it that i meant to put up beforehand because when you don't it takes everything away let me just say that in my stuff i got a lot of okay. um so yeah i'm gonna show you how to do that and how to upload multiple pieces let me get the link right quick because i don't remember it by heart uh where was it oh my calendar dun, 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 dun. uh so while i'm pulling that up what was i gonna tell you from before it's like oh the reason why i did um it all extra <laughs> confusing when i was with the whole um 10 sets um and it being a total of a hundred and why I broke it up like that is because what you're about to see is me, you know, put the addendum in to the address up here. And um, that is going to basically, every time that you put up a piece, every time, oh shit, what did I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I need to open up the app, hold on with the app, okay. Trying to walk and chew gum. Okay. There we go. That's the addendum. Okay. So uh, whenever you put up a piece, it's going to, uh, you have to submit it every time with, the, with that exact price. So I would have to do, do that a hundred times in one sitting. I don't have time like that. <laughs> I just, no. <laughs> I don't. I really wish I kind of no I don't wish but you know what I'm saying I just I'm not able to sit there a hundred times and click so I do it when I can like right now I'm able to do the second set be to remember if I just remember the question mark but the addendum is question mark enable underscore supply equals true enter the whole screen is going to refresh fingers crossed that this video is going to stay recording Okay, it's still recording. Is it? Please still be recording. <laughs> Just gonna make patience. It's key. Okay, the camera is on. Okay, good. Cause y'all, if I had to record all of this again, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it. This, y'all, honestly, this is my third or fourth time <laughs> recording this video because again, like I didn't know that I couldn't come show you you know the whole wallet process which makes sense i mean you know security and i rec tried to record it the other day and yeah and it didn't save so here we are but it's okay we're gonna get it out we're gonna make it happen because i know that this is something that i wish i could have seen um coming into the nft space so 
any way that I can help, I am more than happy to. Mommy's money. Liz eggs. Okay. Uh, got that. This. Get this. This. Ba down. Bam. Bam. Ba down. And blah, 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 blah. And then now you see this area is no longer great. Ta da! So I'm going to change it to 10. Press create, and the video might go away. And if it does, let's just hope it saves. Oh, boom. Okay. So now you have the option to visit your um, NFT. Ta da! It's minted. Air, you have the option to sell it so um, I'm gonna click sell but I'm going to hop off come back on and we'll edit these two videos together because I know once I press sell it's gonna take me to the MetaMask wallet so I'll be right back three two one go I love how this little countdown okay I'm back so uh, it didn't ask for my wallet. It just went straight to this page. Boom. So once you press sell, this is what you're going to come to. And you are going to, you can do a bundle. I don't know what that's about yet. I haven't done that yet. Right. So it says, you know, where you can group this item with others to sell. So it makes sense. It's explanatory, but I'll just say I haven't done that yet. So I don't want to go into like the strategy behind it, what you should do. Cause I don't know, you know, um, but for an individual item or sets, I have to set the price 10 times. If you don't do this, uh, it will take you to, or it'll take your piece and whoever wants to buy it will buy it 10 of them instead of one. Even though it's like a set of 10, it won't break it up for you. You have to do that by going through a whole bunch of times. So I am going to take you through how to do one of them and then I'm going to hop off and do the other nine but before I do that I want to tell you thank you thank you thank you for watching this video I hope that it was helpful leave me questions in the comments below or hit me up on any of the platforms if you don't want to leave a comment I'm available on Instagram Twitter and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can see on my cover page too uh, but I know that those are the most common ones for most people so Instagram and Twitter hit me up, add me on Clubhouse. We can talk about this live, okay? So if you have any questions about the NFT space, uploading a piece onto OpenSea, uh, that's the platform that I'm most familiar with or which platform you should go with, why I chose OpenSea, anything, guys. I'm here. This is such an amazing opportunity for artists, and I'm going to stop right there because I could really go on and on. But uh, I just want to say thank you. I want to say subscribe. All right, now let's get into this. So I'm going to set the piece. Set the price. Okay. Um, quantity one. Even though we have 10, you just do one. Um, and then the price, I want to set these low. I mean, I have a strategy behind this, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. So, uh, schedule for future time. You can do that. Privacy, that's if you want to send it to someone um, directly to them. I don't. I want to post my listing. So, I'm going to press post. And it's going to ask me for the wallet. And I think this is where we say goodbye. So thank you for watching. <laughs>